Damas y caberos, les saluda Luis Quedena, un tremendo honor en presentarles a ustedes al caballero que el día de hoy está celebrando su segundo super evento aquí en Denver. Estamos hablando del deporte de boxeo. Primeramente, Mario Carrillo, pues felicidades, hermano. Casa llena, segundo evento, doble casa llena. Sí, señor, muchísimas gracias, muy amable por esa introducción. Este, sí, así, aquí agradecidos que estamos trabajando con la comunidad este, del boxeo, uh, Ghost Town Promociones, que nos hace bien muchas este, posparos, ¿no? En lo que viene siendo todo de los patrocinadores y promociones. No se puede hacer nada de esto sin la ayuda de Raúl Tajara y con su familia. Y le agradezco todo lo que hace. Usted también, Luis Canela, gracias. por aprobarnos aquí a hacer el Master of Ceremonies. Muchas es gracias. un honor trabajar con ustedes siempre. Igualmente. Uh, ¿Cómo hiciste que esto se realizara de nuevo? Porque la primera vez tenías talento, tenías la casa llena, tenías el interés de toda la comunidad uh -huh. y la gente dice, es imposible que vaya a duplicar esto. ¿Cómo lo hiciste? Con ánimo. Uh, nosotros somos de esos que decimos por nuestro saying, I cower over nothing. Eso básicamente dice que nosotros vamos para triunfiar siempre y siempre vamos a hacer un show más grande. Es más, no sé cuánto voy a decir, pero ya estamos planeando el tercer show. ¡Wow! El día de hoy, uh, 27 combates. Sí. Uh, hablando de la tercera, ¿vas a salir del estado un poquito más? Porque estoy viendo que... Uh, Recibiste un gran grupo sí. de Pueblo Colorado, por ejemplo. Sí. Digo, estás uh, eh, recibiendo este talento que está afuera de, de Denver, pero el talento está al mismo nivel. Y eso también es algo extraordinario porque nadie más puede hacer eso. Sí, muchísimas gracias. Este, trabajamos duro para poner un show excelente para todos. Con todo respeto a todos los shows que vamos, sí digo que nosotros siempre nos gusta tener una visión de algo diferente, algo que es grande para estos niños como un profesional. Le digo de que lo que hacemos aquí es para que estos niños tengan un futuro en el boxeo y decir, wow, mira lo que yo puedo hacer como un amateo, ya para cuando vaya creciendo profesional y ya se lo doy a las manos de Ghost Town. ¿Sabes qué? Hablando de Ghost Town, uh, hay una, hay, una, hay una app que ha creado nuestro amigo Raúl oh, Utajara. Sí. Cuéntame de eso. Mire, wow, este, esa app es lo que decimos un game changer. Antes de que tuviéramos esa app, siempre andábamos en el teléfono. ¿Cómo vamos a hacer peleas? ¿Cómo vamos a hacer combates? Y luego con lo que viene siendo la app del Conquer por Ghost Town, más fácil. ¿Qué tan fácil que ir ahí? todo por tecnología y decir ahí hay alguien que puede competir con cierta persona, la ponemos allí y tan fácil que decir sí o no pero ha hecho nuestra vida súper súper fácil, incluyendo los guantes de oro, nunca había tenido un torneo de guantes oro como este año porque Conquer se dedicó a decir tantos combates van a estar vamos a hacer las peleas bien so, agradeció a ellos de nuevo pues felicidades porque sabes que todo el mundo está dándole también a Raúl Tajara ese merecido respeto. Uh, yo te quiero también felicitar por lo que estamos viendo aquí. Todos los sí. niños al recibir esto es como un sueño que se sí. ha convertido en una realidad. Sí. Y es grande. Sí. Y te digo que es lo que me gusta hacer cuando decimos nuestros capítulos como este All Out. Vamos a ir All Out para ustedes para saber lo más mejor para ustedes porque se lo merecen Colorado. Ustedes trabajan día y noche en lo que es este deporte y les queremos dar de los premios más grandes que podemos dar. Uh, muchísimas gracias a Ringside por uh, trabajar conmigo en esto también. De pura casualidad, también se llama Alex, como otro de Ghost Town, pero sí, es, es, es mi socio en eso y ha hecho muchos socios en esto. Um, hace cuatro meses hice un contrato con Sting Boxing, so, también Sting Boxing es eh, el, el otro que nos ayuda con mucho y somos la tienda oficial en Colorado de Sting Boxing. Mario Carrillo solamente usa lo mejor, ¿por qué? Porque es campeón, así como todos los productos que él usa. Felicidades Mario y también a todo, la señora de Herrera. Sí, estamos aquí para el siguiente. Todo mi este, equipo de Colorado, seguimos triunfando, estamos por ustedes. ¿eh? Para el siguiente nos vemos. Chao. Mario Carrillo, Luis Canela. Hasta la próxima. Hey there everybody, so we're back. It's been a while since we've done one of these videos, but we are um, 
a lot of people have contacted us to get out and about. It's just been a crazy last couple of months after our event. But we are back out here. Alex is my co-host and we're out He's here on promotion. At, uh, Icon Boxing's all in for belts. Welcome back, Alex. <laughs> it's almost like we haven't seen you out here. I know, it's been a while, but um, I'm excited. I've been looking forward to doing it again. Um, and since you told me we were going to start doing it, we were going to do another uh, interview and podcast. I was, I was excited to be able to come out and get interviews and talk to some of these boxers and see what they've been up to since our last conversations. Yeah, no doubt. You know, we've been a little rusty. We have some new equipment that we were needing to plug in and uh, <laughs> some old equipment that we forgot how to plug in. <laughs> <laughs> We are back at it and back in the saddle. We'll be interviewing fighters throughout the day, and we'll show some of the highlights of the fights as we're going along. But another great event uh, put on by Mario and, and now Coach D from Icon Boxing, and we are here uh, to witness the spectacular boxing from amateur boxers all throughout Colorado. And um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to hear what these kids have to say. It's been a while since some of these have been in front of the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We'll definitely uh, get to watch some good fights and uh, get their take on what they thought about the night and how the event went for them. Excellent. Well, we'll be coming back to you uh, through, throughout, the, throughout the night with uh, more interviews with these boxers. I am I'm Fabian Kovos. I am six fight, six bouts. Uh, not that big of a fighter, but I did fight uh, some 40 plus fights. And my second, for my third fight, I did fight some Paolo Garcia, whatever. I think that's his name. Yeah, yeah. I fought him. So what you been up to, man? You not Me? fighting today or what? Uh, nah. No, no, no fights. You just know why? You walking around like a celebrity today or yeah, what? Yeah, yeah, basically. <laughs> you were taking pictures, getting autographs. Yeah, yeah. yeah? There you go. Yeah. There you go. You uh, gotta practice. Just, you know what I mean? Right now you're six, but wait until you're sixty and oh. Oh, you yeah. Know what I mean? Sixty and oh, professional. <laughs> right now, right now I can't. I already lost three fights, but that's. Fine. That's all right. That's right. The amateurs is what you. That's where you want to get all your experience. Yeah, that's. It's all I mean. about the learning in the amateurs, yeah, it's brother. All yeah, about the, it's all about the learning. Yeah. The win loss ratio doesn't matter. Matter, you get that experience now. Man. You know each, time, I mean? each time I get in the ring, I just like, man, I can't back out now. <laughs> I get all scared. I'm like, uh oh. Well, I'm gonna tell everybody a little something about uh, about Mr. Kobos over here, Fabian Kobos. I uh, I'm actually a big fan of of, of Fabian Kobos because uh, I like his style. He's aggressive. And uh, he's exciting to watch. And he's he definitely going to be one of the hi uh, highlight boxers coming out of Colorado. And I'm not just saying that because you're in front of me here and because I'm going to ask you for money at the end of this interview. But, but in all reality, it's because uh, no, I, I sincerely think you're gonna, you are going to you 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 have a lot of natural talent, buddy. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Kudos to your coach. Give us a shout out to your coach. Uh, coach Carlos. A1 okay, that's enough, that's enough about Carlos. <laughs> Let's move on. <laughs> Is a lot of your uh, talent natural, or do, is it a lot um, because you're coach? It's okay to say it's just natural. <laughs> I say it's, it comes from both. Yeah. Both, 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 both natural and uh, from my coach. There you go. There uh, it's you just go. both parts of my family comes are is athletic and fighting. Yeah. Yeah. My okay, that's enough about Carlos. <laughs> 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 what Carlos do? That's good, good, man. That's cool. You know what I mean? Um, so now you're six and zero. Oh, you're you're getting ready to fight again, or what are you doing now? Um, yeah, I'm going to fight next week in Greeley. Okay, okay. Yeah, against uh, I don't know. <laughs> there, don't you know. Yeah. there you go. There you go. Always got, you always got to prepare. It don't matter who. Yeah. Who steps in that ring? You always got to be ready for anybody. Oh yeah, I'm I'm for sure going to have to lose weight last minute. That's for sure. <laughs> I'm a little overweight, <laughs> but it's not good. It's not good. But you're good, bud. Good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're out here. You're always out here supporting your team. You're always out here supporting all these yeah. other boxers. You're one of those guys that I always look forward to seeing at fights, too, <laughs> just like my dad said. Um, yeah. But I always look forward to your fights, bro. Thank you. So thank you. Good luck. A lot. Work hard. And I look to seeing you next weekend, then. Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Uh, I don't know where it is, but I'll hey, try to get there. To still be determined, right? Yeah, the information. for sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, this is, the music's loud. <laughs> hey, yeah, no, but uh, and, and all kidding aside, um, you know, we're we're uh, good friends with um, with Carlos. Yeah, he does an excellent job. Uh, you know, we're we're big fans of his boxing style too, man. Because uh, you know, he puts in the work with his boxers, and I'll tell you what, um, when he, when he brings a boxer and he's in the ring, you guys better be prepared to face somebody tough because that's what Carlos brings to the table. Oh yeah, for sure. We've uh, this team has have a bunch of like great fighters, good-looking ones too, uh, especially myself. 
but <laughs> we've we've had a lot of good fighters going against different teams. But then again, I've seen you fight, so that that the, that'll go away real soon. <laughs> You're gonna start looking like a catcher's man. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So, yeah, that beauty fades in the boxers. Next thing you know, you're going to have a pancake nose. <laughs> uh, then you're going to start looking like Carlos. I, I got I got, I got, got enough hair. <laughs> I just I heard what you said. It took me a minute to process that. I'm like, wait. <laughs> no, much so, love for, for Carlos and his yeah. team. And we always we always enjoy seeing you guys out at events. Hey, Raven, tell us a little bit about uh, your experience that you had meeting Julio Cesar Chavez. Oh, Julio Cesar Chavez. It was great. It was great getting... Three things signed from him, especially my shoe, the side of my shoe. I fight with it a lot. I, I, I try to keep myself. I'm like, I'm going to use this, this shoe for this, for like blue, uh, blue place. But like, I, I just gotta wear those shoes. They're my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What else did you get um, autographed? Uh, I got my two medals, the WBC medal and uh, the WBC medal that I got from that day that I won. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, right on, man. It was my probably one of my favorite fights the the most important fight i've had so far <laughs> that's cool that was a great yeah. event man we're, it was. Sure, we're, we're we're happy to have you have been a part of it and as a matter of fact uh the rankings are going to come out pretty soon and rankings yeah there's going to be rankings from the tournament and uh obviously you're going to be ranked in there uh, i i hope i come out as pretty high up there yeah well, at least you know, up in the champ. top 300 at least <laughs> the th the, at least that at least that <laughs> <laughs> there's only 299 dang yeah that's why it's gonna be 300. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm ranked, huh? <laughs> no, you're gonna be ranked number one. You're a champion. You came out of there as a champion, didn't you? Yeah, that, that's true. It's, these kids are enter entertaining to watch. Yeah, they're getting it in. <laughs> well, right on, buddy. No, it's, it's uh, great to see you, man. Good yeah. to have you out here, and uh, good luck on your next fight. We'll be keeping an eye on, out, out for you. Well, thank you. Thank Alejandro. You. This yeah. isn't the first time I've seen you fight. That's not the first time I've seen you fight that kid, too. You guys are both very, very strong competitors. Um, the entrance was amazing. Thank you. The mask and everything. Whose idea was it? It was, like, me and my dad. Yeah? We, like, right right to the mic, buddy. We, like, watch wrestling a lot, so, like, we get the character from, like, revenge and, like, seeking, like, who you really want to, like, who really wants to, like, be your friend and, like, you're gonna try to beat up that person that just like keeps beating you and you just want to go out there and you want to beat them up <laughs> there you go Into it, okay now that was good man that was really really uh you know what i mean you were the first night the first fight of the night um does that do you get a little nervous when you're the first one that has to start everything up not really anymore since like i'm so used to it now but like still like the little nerves are like you have to set it up you have to start this show and like Oh yeah. It's very important to me. Yeah, you got to set the pace for the whole show, not just for the show, but for your other teammates and all that too, huh? Yeah. There you go. And then how long have you been boxing? About 5 years or so. 5 years now. How many fights do you have? Um open? I don't know how much. You're you open know. now. Okay, that's good. That's good. So now you're getting to a point now where yeah, you know, I mean, you're going to get starting to uh, get celebrity status, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got to carry a pen with you everywhere now cuz people are going to be asking for signatures and all that. You know that, right? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. I hope so. <laughs> there you go. So how how was uh, Alejandro, how was training camp for um for, for this fight here? Pretty hard. Like me and my dad, we wake up at the morning at like five and we run on the treadmill treadmill for like two miles, try to get it under fifteen minutes and just like constantly working day and night, no resting, only just trying to go out there and make sure that whatever you do proves yourself to what you've been training for. There you go, there you go. I like that. What's some advice you give to someone that wants to do boxing? Uh, don't give up on what you want to believe in. And if you really commit yourself into it, you could really do something. And you could really you could really show the world you and what you could do in the near future. And maybe one day you could even be like a pro boxer and you could be a really famous person if you just put your mind into it and you just don't stop training. Oh, yeah, definitely, man. That's cool. That's good. Yeah, now, uh, what about your sparring partners? Who helped you get ready for this fight? Uh, I've been sparring Noah. I've been sparring all my fighters here, except, like, the bigger guys. But, like, the, guy, the guys my size, I've been, like, me and them, we've been training a lot and getting ready for this fight, especially because it's our show. We want to be able to bring it all, all out, all yeah. out. 
There you go. Well, a now closer, that you're a little closer to the microphone because it's it's music is loud, so we gotta be able to hear you. And now now that you're open class, you know that means you can fight some of the bigger guys now, right? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've also fought some big guys too. I've fought more people like fifty fights and like more than me. <laughs> good, good. That's where you get your experience. That's where you're gonna get better, and that's how you know what you need to improve on. You yeah. know what I mean? That's good, man. That's good. I'm gonna walk you around with this belt. Where you you got a special place you got you're gonna put here, what? Uh, I, I put all my belts in the gym, so it just like shows everybody who's who has who's going to be the best here, and trying to show represent my gym. There you go. Yeah, give us a little shout out. Who where your gym's at and your coaches? Um, my coach, Coach D, Coach Mario. I go from Icon Boxing, and we train nonstop. And we uh, try to bring the best, and whoever wants to compete, we'll take them in. We just got to be able to put in the hard work. There you go. Right on, right on. And uh, did you have any uh, any uh, special shout-outs you want to give to some fans that were here uh, tonight to watch you fight? Uh, my family. Uh, they all came out here to support me to make sure that I'm ready and support me in any way possible because... I was a little nervous this time because <laughs> all the pressure and me walking out there, it was a lot. Yeah. yeah it's a good uh, it's a good start, man, because then once you get to, you get pro, you know what I mean? You're fighting like Floyd and, you know, you're fighting those kind of guys. Yeah. You're going to have fireworks. You're going to have the crowd screaming. So that's cool, man. It's a good little, it's a good little run. You know what I mean? Yeah. There you go. Cool, man. What do you think you, is something you can improve on for your next fight? Um... Body shots and angles. It's like I'm just like jab, 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 body, and moving out the way. I need to learn more of like body shots, be able to like, so maybe one day I could like make someone drop because of how hard the body shot is. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. There you go. Well, congratulations, bud, on your win. Thank you. And uh, I look forward to seeing that belt up on your guys' gym. Yeah, come visit us. I come boxing. There you go. <laughs> All right, on buddy. It was great talking to you. Great having you. It was awesome seeing you in there. Congratulations on another belt, and we look forward to seeing you fight again. Thank you. Well, look at here, everybody. Look at what we got here. We got Elijah Vashaw in the house. Yes. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How about you guys? Doing good. Doing good. Um, Tell us a little bit about uh, about uh, you know uh, about your fight today. It was a good fight, close fight. I was expecting a different game plan going in, and then he came in different, so it threw me off guard. And my stamina wasn't enough. I could have done better. That's all right. You know what I mean? One of the biggest scenes is, you know, how many times have you fought him already? Five. Five times. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's always hard to, especially if you're going to fight the same person. Yeah. They know that they have to evolve. They're going to change. You know what I mean? So you always got to be ready for everything. Exactly. So that's a good, strong, com uh, competitive match right there. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just of having the back and forth. Um, you know, I mean, you guys were the first fight of the night. Yep. Did you have a little bit of nerves being the first fight of the night? Yeah. Yeah. It takes a little, a little bit, bit of a toll, you know what I mean? But you know, what I mean, you got to go out there, you set the pace, and it's a good experience. Give it my all, and yeah, do what I do best. There you go. Yeah, no, it's it's you know, it's not always about the wins and the losses, especially at your age and in the amateurs. It's all about the experience. And I'll tell you what, um, you both, both of you guys, put on a heck of a show every single time you guys come out and fight. And uh, you guys are, gonna, are becoming some of the fan favorites here in Colorado. Yeah. And it, I think as you keep going throughout, um, as you get older, and um, it's going to be a rivalry that everybody's going to be looking forward to. <laughs> I'll tell you what, when I see you two guys on the score, on the, on the bout sheets, I'm like, man, this is going to be a fight to watch for sure, man. Yeah. Does other people tell you the same thing? What do, you, what, what do people tell you about these fights? Yeah, I'm trying to get my fights. I'm trying to fight like once a month and build my record up. Because I already have the experience. I have about like 35 fights, so I want to get my record up now. There you go. With that many fights, I mean, what? Or do you still get nervous when you go into the ring? No, not really. Except for, for it's like a big fight. Like when I recently fought in Canada, uh -huh. I was like super nervous, shaking. That's but right, man. I, I saw that. Tell me a little bit about that. How was that? That was a fun, really fun trip. It was, I was really nervous at the beginning, but then this kid... I just started throwing, and his head started bopping, and then I was just in my motion. There you go. There you go. You so know. who all went out there to Canada with us? Tell us how that, how that came about. It was just me and my dad because my dad saw a post on Facebook saying we need a fighter for my kid, 90 pounds and 12 years old. So my dad like said, we'll take it, not thinking we would get it. 
And he's like, yeah, you guys are probably not going to get it. We'll let you guys know, though. And then, like, a week before, he was like, if you guys still want it, we'll buy your plane tickets right now. And we bought the, he bought the tickets. We got ready, started training, and we went. And it was a fun experience. My first time on a plane. That's cool. I was nervous. And your yeah. first time on a plane, you're going to Canada, dude. To fight. Do you know the name of the town you went to fight? Edmonton. Edmonton. So well, tell us a little bit of something interesting about Edmonton. You must have looked something up that's interesting about Edmonton or what your experience was out there. The only interesting thing was the food sucked. <laughs> they didn't have no tacos up there? No, they had nothing really. We, we ate at a restaurant and it was like, just like... We got the same thing I would get here, and it tasted so different. Yeah. And then we're like, we'll just go and try Wendy's. <laughs> and it was so different. <laughs> I was so hungry. Did they make the hamburgers out of moose meat? I don't know. <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> That's how, cool. How was your first plane flight, uh, your first time on a plane? How did yeah. that go? It was fun, boring. We had a layover in Vegas, so it was for Ve in Vegas. Oh man! We were in Vegas for 12 hours. Did you sneak into the MGM or any of those? We did, yeah, and I fell asleep on the MGM floor. <laughs> there you go. There you go. That's cool, man. Yeah. Did, you get, did you guys see any uh, moose over there? No. No? We were like in the city, so. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they don't have no moose in the city, but come on, bro. <laughs> I, th th I thought they had moose as pets in every Just every house. Just walking on the highway. Yeah. <laughs> They're not in Estes Park, bud. <laughs> it's Edmonton, but Come on, don't you know Edmonton? Just driving down and you see a moose driving a car right next to you or what? <laughs> yeah. It would have been cool if you could have rode a moose into your intro. <laughs> that would have been fun. They did the f their fights, they're way different. Like, they didn't have no introduction or nothing. Yeah. Way different than it was here, so that threw me off guard, too. I was like, are they going to announce me? But then I just heard the bell, and I went. There you go. And is that your first time fighting out of Colorado? No. No? My first time out of country, but I fought in Kansas and Wyoming. There you go. There you go. So you've got some traveling experience. Yeah. That's the farthest you've gone for a fight, though, huh? Yeah, and then we're heading to December for the qualifiers in... I mean, then we're heading to Texas for the qualifiers in December. Nice. Very nice, dude. You ever fought in Texas before? Nope. Well, they, um, everything's bigger in Texas, I'll tell you what. <laughs> and, and if you fight in Texas, you know what happens, right? You what? have to come back as a Cowboys fan. No, not the Cowgirls. <laughs> okay, this interview is over. <laughs> it was going really good until that point. <laughs> Broncos forever. <laughs> but you know what tames a Bronco? What? A cowboy. The cowgirls. <laughs> <laughs> so what, how, what, what do you think about your Denver Broncos, how they're doing right now? Uh, okay, let's move on. They started off good. <laughs> <laughs> we had a good start. <laughs> then the Raiders. <laughs> Those darn Raiders, man. They just sneak up on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, cool. You know what I mean? You didn't come out with the win today, but you know what you can improve on for the next one. And I always look forward to seeing you at fights. Um, you just got a great personality. I love seeing you guys at fights. Um, you really are starting to build that fan base now. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Of being as young as you are and being in boxing as long as you have. All you can do now is just keep building that reputation yep. and just keep building that fan base, bud. Exactly. You know what I mean? So congratulations, step in Serene, because that in itself is very, very hard to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, see you in, in the next one, bud. Mm -hmm. Work hard. Yep, thank you. I want to see you. I want to see you fight on Canada TV. That, uh, that'd be cool. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, before you leave, tell us a little bit about uh, what your experience was when you met Julio Cesar Chavez. Oh, that was fun. I was, I was nervous on the stage and thought I was going to fall off or something, but nothing happened. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't think I was going to get my belt signed because I brought my belt from the last Icon show. And I was like the last person to get it signed, so I was really happy and excited about that. That's cool. Do you have that one in a special place? Yeah. Yeah? Dude, if you ever want to sell that one, let me know. I'll be the first one, to uh, first dibs. One million dollars. <laughs> Got to check right now. All right. <laughs> Alex, don't forget, give me the credit card, okay? I'm going to need your credit card, too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we're going to sell Caesars um, everything, really. <laughs> All right. Right on, right on, buddy. It was great talking to you. It was great seeing you here, and I'm Thank excited you. to see you uh, on the next event. Yep. And uh, what's coming up next for you? Um, silver gloves. And then I'm going to train for silver gloves, try to go to regionals and then nationals. 
That's right. That's right. We know regional is always a tough one in California. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Just hope I don't get matched with California. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's let's hope we get matched and then you whoop their yeah. booties. I'm excited <laughs> for that though. Hell yeah! Right on, man. And we look forward to. It. We'll be out there in uh, in uh, Texas as well. Um, so we'll be we'll be following everybody out there that comes out from Colorado right. and the rest of the country. Mm-hmm. All right on, Elijah. Thank you thank very you. much, man. It was a pleasure talking to you, bud. Pleasure talking to you guys too. Have a good night. You too. Thank you. I'm Edwin Ramirez. Out of and, Icon, um, right? From Icon Boxing. There you go. There you and go. I got two wins and one loss. Nice, nice. Well, congratulations on your win today. You know what I mean? Uh, it's not easy. You know, you got the music, you got the crowd. You know I mean, only three fights. How, how do you how do you get ready for a fight, man? Well, every morning I go out and run to get conditioned. And I train so hard so I could get that win. There you go. And then you only you only three fights. What made you want to do boxing? Um, well, I used to just be like home playing soccer. Oh, yeah. And we would never come out. So my dad, for Christmas, he gave us some hand wraps and some boxing gloves, I think, I remember. That's cool. And from that day, we started getting into boxing, me and my brother. Tell us a little bit about your, about your fight today. How, how, do you, how did you feel that, that went, and where do you think you can improve? First, I was nervous, and then I was getting it, and I was not nervous no more. And I was ready to fight, and when I was fighting in there, I felt like I was going to lose, but I said to my mind, I'm going to win, and I went so hard, told my coaches I want that belt, and I started going at it. Heck yeah, man, heck yeah, and what, what, could you hear your coaches give you instruction uh, while you were boxing? Yeah. What, what were they giving you with, uh, instruction to do? Jab, jab, cross, counter, right. There you go, there you go. And then... uh. You know what I mean? With boxing and all that, all this, you know I mean? This is your third fight. What's some advice you give to someone that wants to get into boxing? Um, put your mind right and just keep going. There you go. What was the hardest thing about it so far for you? Um, I thought I was losing condition. <laughs> and I just wasn't throwing that much. I had to... Pressure. There you go. There you go. Who are your coaches, real quick? Give your coaches a shout out, real quick. Mario Carrillo and Coach D. There you so go. which one of those two is the toughest to deal with? Don't <laughs> worry, we won't tell them. Uh, Coach D. <laughs> Coach D. Yeah, she looks like a tough one. <laughs> does she make you do uh, uh, what? What exercise is the, the worst exercise that she makes you do? Burpees. There you go, Coach D. When you wanna when you wanna get him. Uh, uh, for, when you want to get them back for what you see on this video, burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bud. Yeah, Sorry, man. I didn't mean. I didn't mean. To, I, I don't want to do the burpees. So. I got to work out. <laughs> there you go. It just makes you stronger for your next fight. Yeah. There you go. So what now? What are you gonna do? You gonna get ready for another fight? Yeah, I, I want to get ready for another fight. Keep going. There you go. Get another belt. There you go. And do you have a favorite boxer? Um, Ryan Garcia and Mayweather. Mayweather, Mayweather's always a good choice. He's yeah. one of my favorites. I thought he was going to say Logan and Paul. <laughs> Logan and Paul. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations on your win today, bud. Thanks. And then uh, hopefully I see you at more events. You yeah. go on more shows. Uh, your team always comes out, and they always, you know, I mean, they put in the work, bro. Yeah. So congratulations on your win. That was a very, very hard fight. Thank you. Um, but you came out the win. Good yeah. work. Thanks. Any shout-outs you want to send out there? Noah and X helped me get ready for my fight. They helped me spar and get me ready. Now, they got fights fight tonight, too, right? Yeah. They haven't fought yet, have they? X has. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. X had. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And then uh, that was a good matchup. That's yeah. a good matchup. Those guys definitely always go at it. Which one of those two um, do you whoop? Sometimes I whoop X. <laughs> <laughs> Uh oh. <laughs> we're getting, we're, we're, he's going to do extra burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Causing feuds. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's always good. No, that's that's awesome that you know um you got you got good teammates that are helping you get ready uh, for your fights and um and those guys will really push you. Yeah. yeah. 
Awesome, bud. Anything, uh, anything you want to say to uh, your fa- your friends and family out there that are watching you in the world of YouTube? Um, Everybody's watching. Thank you for watching, and I don't got nothing more to say. <laughs> there you go. He's a man of few words. <laughs> and many actions. Yeah. <laughs> excellent, excellent. Man of few words and many punches. What's your nickname? Yurem Ramirez. Edwin Yurem Ramirez. But do you have a nickname, a ring name? No, they just call me Eddie sometimes at the gym. Eddie? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a scary name. (laughs) When you're up against Eddie, it's worse than fighting Freddy. (laughs) You know, Freddy Krueger, that's what I meant. Halloween's coming up. Yeah, yeah, no, that, I I totally understood that. (laughs) (laughs) All right, Eddie. All right, Eddie, hey, man, it was great having you, man. Great talking to you, and uh, we look forward to seeing you fight again. Yeah. Congratulations. I'm Carlos Escobar. There you go. What gym are you from? Marquez Boxing. Marquez Boxing. How many fights you got? Four. Four, man. I remember seeing you fight. I can't remember when the last time I saw you fight, but, dude, I saw you fight, and it, the reason I remember you is because of the hair, bro. The hair. You know what I mean? That's going to be your trademark right there. <laughs> so how'd you get into boxing? Uh, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Okay, okay. And you want to call him out? Or is that someone you look up to? Look up to. Oh, okay, okay. I was going to say, you can call him out right now if you want to. You want to? No? <laughs> All right, cool. Who's your uh, Who's your coach? Uh, Andrew. Andrew, okay. How'd you get into boxing? What made you want to do boxing? Uh, I, I used to play football and I didn't like it. No? You didn't get to hit people hard enough. That's what it is, huh? <laughs> there you go. And, uh, you know what I mean, going into boxing, you know what I mean, when what did, you, did you like, you know what, This I like this sport. This is what I want to do. When did you realize that? Uh, when I watched Ryan Garcia's fight, like, a year ago. Yeah? What was it about that? What what's ab- What is it about him that made you, was like, you know, I want to do that? He's fast and all that. Yeah? And you want to give anybody a shout-out, family, your team? My family. Yeah? Who's your, give a little shout-out to your family. Nana, uh, Hi. There you go. And uh, who did you, did you get sparring with anybody in your gym? Yeah, to get ready for this fight? Yeah, who who's some people that you get to get spar with? Gabe. Gabe? Was he a, is he tough? Yeah? Do you usually win or do you, does he usually win? It's a draw. Yeah? <laughs> it's okay. You be honest. You kick his butt, huh? No? <laughs> and then that belt. How many, uh, where are you going to put that belt? In my room. Yeah? Do you got a special little shelf for it or what? Yeah. Yeah? There you go. And uh, there was someone you could call out, a celebrity. You call out one celebrity, who would you call out? Like, what do you mean? Who? Like, to fight? Yeah. I really don't know. We got an HBO fight this weekend, this upcoming weekend. Who are you going to call out? Tank Davis. Tank Davis. Dang, dang. That's a that's a big call out. There you go, there you go. That's cool. And uh, you said Ryan's your favorite boxer, right? You Do you style your boxing around what he does? Kind of. Yeah. What is it you look for? Fast. Yeah, the speed, right? Yeah, how about that power? Yeah. Building up the power? Yeah. There you go. That's cool. And then what else do you do besides boxing? What else do you do? Nothing. None? Boxing's life, huh? There you go. Well, congratulations, dude. Thank you. That, and what's something uh, to look forward to? What, what are you getting ready for now? To go pro. Yeah? You want to go pro? Yeah? That's good. That's good. You got a, you got quite a bit of time. Built up their reputation, built their career. Um, I remember seeing you fight last time, and I liked your style. You're very aggressive. You know, you got really good head movement, all that. You know, I mean, what's one workout that that you hate doing though? Burpees. Burpees. What's one that you like to do? Squats. Oh, do you? Man, you see that? That's funny. It's a lot of people don't like to do squats too. There you go. You getting strong, right? Good. Well, congratulations on your win today, bud. Thank you. All right. We'll see you next one, right? All right. Good. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Joseph Bogarin. I'm an eighth grader and uh, amateur boxer. There you go. And uh, tell me a little bit about how your fight went today, man. Um, I, it was a good fight, and um, I uh, I put my heart out there. You know, he's a good he's a good boxer for sure. Um, it, it could have went either way at that point, but you know, it's, it's not a loss. It's always a learn. There you go. You know, what I mean, how many fights do you have right now? 
this was my sixth. Your sixth fight. You know what I mean? Uh, amateurs, it doesn't matter your win-loss ratio right now. You know what I mean? If you want to build it up, you're going to build it up to get better. This is where you want to get all the experience now. You know yeah. what I mean? The win-loss doesn't matter right now. It's once you start and you turn pro. You know what I mean? This is where you want to build your fan base. You want to start uh, learning all those skills that you need. You know what I mean? So out of this fight, what's something you feel like you can improve on for the next one? Um, Definitely... Probably throwing more punches. You yeah. know, this fight was that was uh, just hit and I'll get hit. And um, se second and third round, I was doing that pretty well. But, you know, he just got a few more punches. So, yeah, no, you know I mean, you're a tough kid, man. I like your boxing. You're, you have very good skill and you could just see, you know, what I mean, you have a lot, a lot of potential. You know, what I mean, so uh, that I mean, give a little shout out to who's your coach. Um, Andrew Marquez, you know, he's a uh, he's a really good coach. He he can be our friend when it's time. But in the ring, it's, you know, yelling at us. Time, yeah. Uh, Andrew, go. Andrew can be a tough guy when it comes to when it comes to training his fighters, can he? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about uh, what's uh, what's probably one of the worst uh, exercises he makes you do. Probably like the the five mile run. Most of it's uphill, <laughs> and if he catches us walking, walking, then it's burpees till he gets tired. <laughs> there you go. And uh, what made you want to do boxing? Um. So at first, I'd, I I always had a had that. You know, like for boxing, yeah. the sport's entertaining, gives you that fit, that physical, you know, exercise keeps you in fit. And um, you know, Isaac Alvarez, he's a he he's one of our good friends, and his dad invited us to his gym. First day, fell in love, you know. And then um, we had a, we took a break for a little bit, but we were in our basement, you know, we were working what we had. We um, we used whatever we can. We used tape for a ladder. We used rope for a jump rope. It was wh whatever we had, but. You know, it definitely gave me that um, that love for the sport. Oh, yeah, man. You know, it's funny because a lot of people think they assume that you need to have a big fancy equipment, all this. It's not. I mean, it's just the dedication, the heart, and that's just the, the, the base of it. You know what I mean? Um, at what point did you say, you know what, this is what I want to do. I love this sport. Um, I think it was getting hit, uh, hit in the back for the first time. You know, it's just like. It, it, it gives you that sort of a release, you know, whatever you feel inside. It gives you that sort of release. So it definitely gave me, it gave me that that feeling and um, um, just the love for the sport. You know, I love working out. Sometimes it gets tough for it, but um, you know, I, I definitely love the sport. Heck yeah, man! Do you have a nickname? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. It's for the fan base, but to give me one, I guess. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's one of those things. A lot of everybody, everybody wants to be given one. Sometimes it just falls into place, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's not something you rush. You know what I mean? Yeah. When the time comes, you, you'll have that nickname. Everyone's be cheering and be like, "Yeah, that sounds good." Yeah. You know what I mean? Now, do you have a uh, do you have other do you have a, a, a brother that that boxes, right? I have uh, two brothers that box. Yeah. So there's three of you, three yeah. of you Bulgarians that are that Bulgarian, are. Bulgarian, yeah. <laughs> All right on, right on. So okay, which one of, which one of you is the boxer, the brawler, and uh, the crybaby? <laughs> I'm definitely the boxer. Older brother's the brawler, and my little brother's probably the the. Or I don't know. I feel like I don't know. He's none of the crybaby. He's probably the tough one. <laughs> remember, this is gonna be on YouTube. So when he'll watch this as he gets older, and you're gonna be a sparring partner. So remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to worry about there. <laughs> so what about uh, who's your favorite boxer? And I don't want to hear this Jake Paul and Logan Paul crap, all right? <laughs> you two boxers are they're nothing. They they fight nobodies. But uh, <laughs> my favorite boxer is probably Lomachenko. He, the way he, he uh, you know throws fast ones, turns you around, just hard ones. The way he switches angles is good. Oh yeah, there you go, there you go, Lomachenko, man. So uh, yeah, that's definitely you're the boxer, and if you're the if he's one of your uh, favorite boxers. Thank yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, you have a really good style, and you, you're building up. You, know, you only have six fights right now. You know what I mean? You have a lot of potential, and I always look forward to uh, seeing you, your team fight. Um, you guys is, has a strong, strong team. So, you know what I mean? Big shout-out to them. Uh, putting in the work. You know what I mean? You put in the work. You might not have came out with the win today, but I know next time you'll be just that much better. You know what I mean? Uh, you want to give a shout-out to anybody? Um, just my dad, Drew, you know, my dad was our coach for, for most of the time we've been boxing and uh, he just, he, he kept us motivated for that. My brother, both of my brothers, just everyone in my family, you know, they're, they're always there for everything we do. And, uh, you know, one of my favorite quotes is you rest at the, rest at the end, not in the middle. So There you go. You know, a lot of people don't have a motto. And you know what I mean? If you have a motto and that's something you can live by, that's something, you know, is always going to push you. You know what I mean? That's good. That's really good. Well, awesome, man. Congratulations. And uh, definitely uh, look forward to watching you box some more. Bogarin is in the house. Marquez boxing in the house. Thank you. 
right on, buddy. Congratulations on you. on your choice of sport. <laughs> yeah, but uh, you know, like like Alex was telling you, it's not all about the wins and losses right now. Right now, it's about getting that experience, and you're definitely doing it. I see you guys at all the events. Keep up the good work, man. Thank you. Uh, my name is Andrew Madrano, um, head coach of Buena Vista Boxing Club. On top of fighter, ref, judge, you name it, I do it. Yeah, you got a full resume, man. You got a full resume. Hey, it helps keep me young and here and out of trouble. <laughs> so, Jay, you got to be a part of a little bit of a, all those worlds, huh? Yes, sir. Um, but let's talk about your boxing. And tell me a little bit about your fight, man. How'd it go? Uh, went well, man. Went in there, uh, you know, did business, did what I had to do, uh, you know, been... A little crazy lately, so I haven't been training as much as I wanted to, but, you know, I still went out there and gave it what I could and made myself as tired as I can, kept on swinging. That's all I could do, you know? <laughs> there you go. There you go. You know, you came in, your the your opponent came out super, super aggressive. You were able to settle him down within the first round, and you took control over pretty quickly the first round. Um, you know, I mean, what was the game plan going into the fight? Um, on that, just, you know, being the, the height difference and I had a fill in, you know, like you said, was going to be aggressive. So wanted to stay in close and, you know, uh, just run it at my pace and not him keep me at his pace, you know. I know when he got that reach and just stay in tight and try to make it my world. There you go. And uh, it's been fun watching you uh, progress every single fight, Andrew. I'll tell you what, uh, when uh, your first fight, when you, came, um, when you came back at the WBC event, and then uh, you've had several fights since then, and every single fight, I see you turn it up more and more. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I've been uh, just trying hard, and like you said, trying to teach these kids and trying to show them, you know, that we can all do it. I can do it in my older age as well, and just, you want it, you can go do it. That's life, you know, spread them wings and fly. Yep, and you're up from Buena Vista, right? Yes, sir. And so how does uh, the training up there, a little bit higher altitude, uh, are you, do you, are you running up there in those mountains up there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we run three to four miles a day. Um, just run, run, run is one of our big things. Just, you know, if you can get through and not be tired is my uh, metaphor out there. You know, like you said, with the altitude, we just run, spread a lot of um, our training outside. You know, we don't have a gym at the moment. We're in the process of building one. So we spend a lot of our time outdoors, you know, running, chopping wood, and just hard, hard labor, hard training. Now, you had your first event at the Buena Vista up there, and it was a successful event. We're sure looking forward to, uh, to when you're going to do your next event. Um, and now that you're opening up a gym up there, uh, anybody up in the Buena Vista area, how can they get a hold of you? Where do they want if, you know, to come box over at your place? So right now, um, I do have some cards and stuff. Um, the best thing is uh, Facebook. I'm working on doing an um, Internet page. Um, but Facebook, Buena Vista Boxing Club, just look us up, message me. Um, we'd love to do some training camps and some sparring with some of these other teams. Um, got a great great area out there, especially uh, in the wintertime, you know, when it's a little slower. If people want to make the trip, um, we do a lot of our training in the, the hot springs up there, as we all have seen. So a lot of swimming once a week, you know, swim about three, four miles. So, Gotcha. And how do you juggle, you know, fighting? Uh, training your, uh, you know, getting your box ready to fight, and then also as a referee, a USA boxing uh, referee. Um, it's it's hard, man. It definitely is. I just uh, like I said, we come all the way up here to box, so I just try to keep myself busy and just go with the flow. Like I said, whether we're rapping, judging, refing, whatever we gotta do, just move, move, move. That's what keeps me going. It's just moving. There you go. Uh, when do you have any uh, dates yet on when you're gonna do the next event? Um, I think our next event we're planning. Uh, I think first of April. We were gonna do something in November, but that just didn't work out. And with the weather and stuff, I don't want to do anything out there and not have that great of a turnout with all the bad roads and stuff. So I think we're gonna wait till early uh, spring, about April and maybe May. Uh, I was thinking maybe a big Cinco de Mayo bash or something. Yeah. But we're we're definitely planning on doing one. Um, it's gonna be awesome. That's cool, man. You know, I'm um, being up there. I wish I would have known last time I would have took my fishing pole. You know what I mean? Being up there and getting to relax a little bit, hit some of the rivers. But I know this time now, uh, it's a beautiful venue. So I look forward to being up there again and, and seeing how it all goes, man. Awesome. Well, no, we're uh, we're excited. We can't wait to have you guys up there with us. Um, definitely got some good uh, fishing spots up there that I can go show you, too. Hopefully we can make an <laughs> extra day out of it and just not do the boxing. And, you know, we'll just go <laughs> fish and barbecue and hang out a little bit cause heck yeah every time i see you guys you guys are as busy as i am just go 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 <laughs> so i think we all need a, a day off and catch some fish yeah yeah no doubt no doubt man and i uh, love that area up there you know and uh um yeah we could sure use some uh fishing time and uh 
you know, get a little, we're so caught up in the boxing. We're always at the boxing events, and we need to go throw a line in the water. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely agree. If not, at least our feet. <laughs> <laughs> well, right on, man. Congratulations on your win today, man, and uh, you, and all the hard work that you put in. And, and one thing I, I do want to sincerely tell you is that, we you know, we appreciate you, man, as far as being an official coming out to all the events helping all these events be successful without you officials we can't get this done it's a big big it's a, you guys are some of the uh, um you know you don't get the, the shine that you should get and you are at all these events uh, just about all of them so you're a very familiar face and um that that is huge for these kids yeah, well thank you we're more than happy uh, like i said we, it's all about these kids you know we're trying to help them have something to do and um we appreciate and love working with you guys so we'll we'll be here as many as we can Plenty more to come. Right on, man. Congratulations, Andrew. All right, man. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. He put his belts up on the table so he could get close to his yeah. mic. He doesn't want to let go of it. I, I tried to reach for it, and he almost swung at me. <laughs> <laughs> Move it to the other side, yeah, buddy. Put it right here. Put it on the other side so I will get to the camera. Yeah, yeah, he'll put it for you. We'll make sure he doesn't keep it. Don't worry. Yeah, it's <laughs> oh, it's okay? Can I keep it? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> There you go. Look at that. What's your name, buddy? Luis Hernandez. Luis Hernandez. Oh, that's right. I just saw your fight. Yeah. Okay, make sure he's talking to the mic just like that. Can you hear us good? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hello, Luis. Hello? Yeah. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Luis, go ahead and introduce yourself. Um, I'm Luis Hernandez. Like, I'm 11 years old, and I'm from Mexico. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And what gym do you box out of? Agregas Boxing. There you go. Yeah. And how long have you been boxing? A year. A year. How many yeah. fights do you have? This is my third. Your third fight. Yeah. Man, you're walking home. You're taking home this big old belt. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Where are you going to put that thing? I'm just going to hang it up on top of my bed probably, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. What part of Mexico are you from? Luis? Um, Chihuahua. Chihuahua. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Hey, we're, we're from Chihuahua too. Yeah. That's the best city. Heck yeah, <laughs> heck yeah. And uh, so uh, do you have other brothers and sisters that box or just you? I'm the only boxer, but I have one older sister. Oh, that's why you got into boxing. So yeah. you beat her up. Yeah. She's a, is she a bully? <laughs> yeah, really mean. Well, now you got you got some bling there, and yep. she's going to think twice. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you know, what, what got you into boxing? What inspired you, you know? So, uh, like, I just, like, watched a lot of, like, Canelo. And, like, that wanted me to, like, box because I thought it was so cool. Yeah. And, yeah. So is Canelo one of your favorite boxers? Yeah. Yeah, do you want to fight like Canelo? Yes. Do you eventually want to fight Canelo? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what I like to hear. The confidence in the yeah. That's 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 all it takes right there. That's right. Well, he, you've already got one belt, and he's he's got a couple. I have two belts. Oh, there, oh, you, there oh, you go. Oh, shoot, he's got two belts. Yeah. Fight him for his belts? Yeah. <laughs> so what's your nickname? What do they call you in the ring? Uh, Pirata. Pirata? Yeah. Oh, man. Do you go in there with a hook? Yeah, a big one. <laughs> That's right. You see what I'm talking about? Yeah. Good job. Right on, yeah. man. You only have a handful of fights, but you're a really good boxer, man. Thank you. You have a lot, a lot of skill. Yeah. I mean, I the way you're moving, you're moving your head. You don't just stand there, just throw, throw, throw. You're looking for those shots. Yeah. You know what I mean? What was the game plan going into this fight? Um, and going into this fight, it's like, cause I haven't been running, so that's the, I got tired really fast. Uh, my coach was like, just to stay inside and work the body to gas him out and... And then, like from there, I can win because he's go. tired. Give us a shout out on your coach. Who's your coaches? Uh, Martha and Martha. Yeah, she's Martha. Martha and Martha. You got two coaches that are called no, Martha. Just one, Martha. Oh, just one, Martha. Yeah. Oh, okay. The one and only Martha, huh? Yeah. There you go. There you go. So That's is cool. what, is Martha? Is she pretty tough? Is she mean? Yeah, she's not mean. She's really tough though. Like she like she pushes us to all of our limits. Oh, that's good. That's a good coach. Yeah. What's a, what's coach. a workout that she makes you do that you don't like to do? Burpees. Burpees. <laughs> Martha, if you're listening to this, please ease back on the burpees. <laughs> <laughs> Make them run more. Yes. How about that? <laughs> He's yeah. okay with the running. Burpees, no. no. There you go. No burpees. How long were you training to get ready for this one? Like uh, four weeks probably around there. Four weeks, yeah. Yeah. What's, what was one of the foods that you had a hard time staying away from? More of the sweet stuff. Yeah? Yeah. You're a sweets kind of guy? Yeah. There you go. Well, now the fight's over. What are you going to do? You going to celebrate with some, some yeah. sweets or what? I still can't eat sweets because I have another fight coming up. Oh, yeah? When? Uh, the 15th. The 15th? Yeah. There you go. And you're going to go take another belt? Yep. There you go. 
There you go. Well, right on, Pirata. That's what I, you know, we're going to keep looking out. I'm going to make sure that I, uh, that I stay away from that left hook. <laughs> <laughs> it's really dangerous. <laughs> well, it should be because he just came out with the win. Hey, what song did you come out to? Uh, I'm Not Afraid by Eminem. There you go. That's yeah. a good. That's a solid choice. Yeah. That's a I solid like choice. It. Does Eminem get you in the get in get you into that move? Just get into a fight? Yeah. 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 Did you just see when he was coming in? Man, he almost knocked out a couple of people on down that aisleway. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, dude. Good Thank work. You. Put yeah. in the hard work, and uh, I look forward to seeing you fight again. Thank you. <laughs> well, right on, Luis. Good talking to you, buddy. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Well, Emil is in the house, and here we have. Uh, Carlos's favorite boxer. Don't make make sure that uh, that uh, uh, Fabian doesn't hear us because he thinks he's Carlos's favorite boxer. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing, man? You're good. And tell me a little bit about your fight. How did it go? Uh, it was good. It was a split decision. I did good. The kid got way better since I fought him in Golden Gloves. It was the trilogy, our third fight together. There you go. How'd the other two go? Uh, good. I won one and lost one, but now I'm two and one against him. I beat him today and and, and in Golden Gloves. So there you go. It's it's not easy, man. When you fight someone more than twice, you, I mean, they, you have to develop new skills. You have to build some new tricks. You know, I mean, put some tricks up your sleeve so that when you're fighting them, you know, what I mean, it's always unpredictable. But uh, you got good some good coaches behind you. Give a little shout out to your coach, real quick. Coach Carlos from A1 Boxing Academy. There you go. Um, you know what I mean? You, your team, we enjoy watching you guys come out. You guys have such high energy, and your skills are improving as well. Yeah, thank um, you. Every time I see you fight, I always get excited to see what, what's new in the in the cooking pot from you guys. Thank but, you. Uh, what's some, uh, what, what was like getting ready for this fight, man? Because you knew you were going to fight this kid again. You know what I mean? This is your third time fighting him. So what was the game plan going into this one? Uh, my game plan was, like, trying to learn more skills, how to, like, fight a southpaw. Like, not fight a southpaw, like... How to like get in the body and stuff. How to like check three stuff. There you go. There you go. And who who helped you get ready for this fight? Who's your chief sparring partners? Uh, sometimes Fabian and sometimes other gyms come to spar me. So they help me a lot too. Yeah. Now and now uh, uh, Fabian says that he's the the strongest fighter in that team over there. Tell us tell us the truth. We want to know the truth. He's the strongest because he's big. <laughs> but if he was my size, I would be. <laughs> there it is. The truth comes out. <laughs> the truth comes out. <laughs> That's good. And then, uh, you know, what I mean, other gyms come in. They, you get sparring. You get, you come out and you do your thing. You know, how'd you feel about your fight today, though? I felt good. Yeah. Yeah. That's good, man. Um, describe your fighting style. What you know? What's your fighting style? And who do you who do you uh, think you fight like as far as like uh, the pros? I mean, my fighting style it depends on who I'm fighting. But sometimes, like, I try to, first round, like, first 30 seconds, I try to see what, what they have, like, how they're punching and stuff. And the second or third round, I just bring it to them, or I just start countering if I don't, if I can't. I counter, and if I can't go forward, then I just keep countering. So who's one of your favorite boxers in the pros? Uh, right now, I like uh, Isaac Pipple Cruz. Oh, that guy can crack, man. That guy's got some power. I'll tell you what, man. He's got he's got power. I want to see the rematch between him and Tank. Yeah, yeah. But you, did you think Tank won that fight, or you think Isak won that fight? I thought Isak won that fight. Yeah, me too. Me too. Especially because I had money on him. <laughs> <laughs> I hate losing money. <laughs> hey, uh, if you could call out one celebrity of the box, who would you call out? And like in the pros? Yeah. Um, I would call out Devin Haney. I would Devin call. Haney. I would call out um, Salma Hayek. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw down. <laughs> I bet you I can knock her out. <laughs> Probably. There are some girls that are good too. <laughs> oh yeah, she's good. <laughs> Long story. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> what song did you come out to? Uh, I didn't pick a song. You didn't pick a song? Oh, you're the one that came out to Britney Spears. 
I, I don't remember. I'm just kidding. It wasn't Britney Spears. Uh, <laughs> I, I, everybody would remember that. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I, I came here at like one when the fights just started, so I had to get my hands wrapped and stuff, so I didn't get a time to pick. So who's one of your favorite artists in music? Um, if I you had a fight song, what would you pick? I like Nardo Wick a lot. Yeah, which one of the, like, uh, probably uh, give me a song. Um, there's Wicked Witch. There's, there's different ones. Who Who's the artist? Nardo Wick. Nardo Wick? I don't think I know who that is. You want to sing me a, some of the song? I, I don't know the lyrics, but. Hey, hum it? Huh? You got to hum it? What do you mean? Like, hum, how, how does it go? Whistle. Yeah, and then he starts, like, it gives me good energy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alex, come on, give me the program. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to get you to sing a little bit. <laughs> so going into this, I mean, what what you uh, what's a little ritual? How do you get ready for a fight? Um, we usually do this one combo at our gym. It's like step to the side of one two one and step to the side two one two and then roll three four three. So I I, I whoa, do that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't be letting out the secrets, man. Yeah, I know like, you yeah, gave yeah, out a whole code right oh, there. Oh, that was a whole code right there. <laughs> that's, I know. That's, 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 I, worth some money. that's just the beginning. <laughs> oh, okay, all right. Okay. He's giving that's the taste. That's all. Yeah, yeah all right, I'm, okay. just, I'm just giving out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and I do a lot of stuff. I I try to get ready. I stretch a lot, too. Good, good, good. Where's your coach? How come he's always hiding in the back? Is he getting drunk? Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to break up. I, I need a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I see him. He's way over there in the back. He's way over there in the back. And we got to wave him down, make sure we get a shot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Good Thank work you. on your win. Thank it you. wasn't an easy fight. I mean, you guys were both warriors, and you came out with the win. So good job, man. Congratulations. Congratulations. And this round of applause is for you, my friend. <laughs> okay, that's enough. <laughs>